I'm Wes Anderson. The refugee story I'd like to share is actually a clip from my film, The Grand Budapest Hotel. The movie is a fiction, of course, but the character is modeled on a real person, and his story is very similar to many other real people's. No one chooses to be a refugee. Uh, refugees are people like us under extreme conditions, when they lose their homes and families, when catastrophic circumstances force them to flee. Thank you for allowing me to show you this little moment to you as my contribution to World Refugee Day. <laughs> That's just marvelous, isn't it? I suppose this is to be expected back in... <laughs> where do you come from again? Axelim al -Jabat. Precisely. I suppose this is to be expected back in Axelim al -Jabat, where one's prized possessions are a stack of filthy carpets and a starving goat, and one sleeps behind a tent flap and survives on wild dates and scarabs. But it's not how I trained you. What on God's earth possessed you to leave the homeland where you very obviously belong and travel unspeakable distances to become a penniless immigrant in a refined, highly cultivated society that, quite frankly, could have gotten along very well without you? The war. Well, say again? Well, you see, my father was murdered and the rest of my family were executed by firing squad. Her village was burned to the ground and those who managed to survive were forced to flee. I left because of the war. I see, so you're, you're actually really more of a refugee in that sense? Truly. Well, I suppose I'd better take back everything I just said. What a bloody idiot I am. Pathetic fool. This is disgraceful and it's beneath the standards of the Grand Budapest. I apologize on behalf of the hotel. It's not your fault, Mr. Gustav. You were just upset I forgot the perfume. Don't make excuses for me. I owe you my life. You are my dear friend and protégé, and I'm very proud of you. You must know that. I'm so sorry, Zero. We're brothers.